sample. Running the game at max settings with no multi-sample anti-aliasing, we can pull off a full 4K60 in typical play. Valve's Source Engine Classic has an up-to-date Linux port with perfect UI scaling, so high resolutions don't pose any issues for playability. The 60fps lock is disrupted momentarily when alpha effects fill the screen, but this is a full 4K60 the overwhelming majority of the time, and holds up very well on a 4K television. Most software with roots in 7th gen consoles runs very well on the deck. Deus Ex Human Revolution hits 1440p60 just fine at medium settings for instance. This is a somewhat clinical looking older title, but image quality is reasonable, performance is solid, and the artwork holds up. It did dip to the upper 50s on occasion during my testing, but not especially frequently. 4K30 is an option as well if you really want to go for a pin sharp look. Valkyria Chronicles and Dishonored both perform in a similar range at default settings at 1440p. Though the frame rate dips are somewhat more common, so I'd suggest dipping to 1080p for a better 60fps lock. Both titles do hold up perfectly fine though, and even compare favorably to their 8th gen console ports, which is a big win for the deck. Newer 3D games work well also, as long as the visual targets aren't too ambitious. Mantis Burn Racing manages very nicely at 1080p60, only ever really dropping frames during race starts. The lower contrast vision